Good morning. Another wisdom tidbit for the day. Um, I think that we should desire to have an excellent spirit. The Lord has always taught me about this, and um, we know that Daniel was one of an excellent spirit. But the Lord showed me one time there's a difference between an excellent spirit and a spirit of excellence. They're very, very different. And I'll give you examples. If you ask, you know, if you're asking, what do you mean by that? Well, someone who is of an excellent spirit completely obeys and bends to everything that the Lord desires. They they have no choices for themselves. They they're slaves to the Lord alone. And a spirit of excellence does everything with perfection. They're like a perfectionist. And I'm not saying everyone who has the spirit of excellence is a perfectionist. However, what the Lord began to teach me about this is when he sent me to this place one time and it was opulent. I mean, everything was pristine. It was just, everything was in order and everything was perfect. And I was like, wow, what a spirit of excellence. But there wasn't no evidence of the Holy Spirit anywhere. And I was like, Lord, what is that? And then he began to teach me because I've been into places where I would go in and things seemed not out of order, but out of place. Like, and God just came in and sat on the place. And he began to show me that that was an excellent spirit. I'm like, wow. Now, there's times that you can have both, but you know, a lot of people don't realize that when God truly comes in, it looks like holy chaos to us, but it could be perfect order to him. Perfect order is being one with him. And being one with him sometimes looks messy. In the human mind, in, in, in you know, the nature of man, it looks like chaos. However, an excellent spirit bends like the wind. Like the Holy Spirit. Like if you're looking at a tree and the tree is moving, you can't see the wind, right? Like scripture, you know, you can't see the wind, but you know the tree is moving. There's an effect. So much like um, Spirit of Excellence, though everything's moving around and it looks like it's being like set out of its place it's because of the holy spirit the true holy spirit yet you can have everything perfectly still and in the right place and in order and 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 with pristine excellence but there's no evidence of the spirit anywhere this is the difference there's a difference between an excellent spirit which daniel had and a spirit of excellence maybe sometimes you can have both However, it's very rare because we need to know the difference between the two. And the Lord is teaching us that. And so, Lord, may you make us of an excellent spirit where we become your slaves forever, where we have no desire to do anything apart from the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for making us of an excellent spirit. And it doesn't matter if it looks like things are out of place when you ask us to do them. Because your ways are higher than our ways, according to Isaiah 55. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So what looks like loss to us is gain to you. And what looks like disorder to us is order to you. And I thank you for that, Father. Tidbits of wisdom for the day. Love y'all.